love bugs is rosling back at you one more again i hope everybody is doing blessed i'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you and if this is your first time coming to my channel much love to you and welcome and to my returning subs my growing extended family thank, thank you so much for just showing love and support dropping comments just interacting with me with all the vlogs that lets me know that you're interested you know that you're being comfortable with both you know with voicing your opinion which i truly appreciate so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way now if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already what are you waiting for like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when i'm about to upload my next video if you feel like you are comfortable enough, please go ahead and drop me a line or two. I love to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me, even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my, my video. Or you're just up telling me about your impact, the gift, and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction. And if you feel like the video has just very, been very informative to you and just gave you good vibes you want to share, please go ahead and do so. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and even share on your social media favorites. And thank you so much for stopping by my channel today and showing love and support once again. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And this meditation that I'm listening to, I think I'm turn it up. Well, no, I'm not going to turn it up too much, but I want to make sure you can be able to hear it. It's Solfigo, 639 hertz, attract love, raise positive energy, pure miracle tones, S42, I mean TX, I mean T6, Jesus. S4T6. I will post that link in the description box below. I'm looking at all these different numbers all at the same time and saying them. And my video today is about Twin Flame 101. Uh, Impasse, feeling like your life is falling apart, but it's coming back together. You know, going through these awakenings, oh my gosh. Between the shifts and going through the awakenings and whatever traumatic stuff that, you know, got you to this point of your spiritual awakening can make you feel like your life is falling apart, make you feel like you are spiraling out of control. Trust me, I know I've been through this. I, you know, I still go back and forth through um, my ascension going through you know because it's just like when we feel like it's over it comes back in waves and i know a lot of people can agree with me you can feel like you're fine and you feel like yes you know i'm healing i'm growing i'm educating myself i feel much better and it only takes one or two little things to set you back on five five paces back and you be like why am I going through this? But we always have to go through these processes. Like, you know, go through a process. And I have to keep telling people this because it's like I love when I can interact with people. You know, that a lot of people don't feel comfortable with dropping lines on comments. And I, you know, dropping lines on the videos. They contact me on, on you know, on the side, you know, one on one. And, you know, that's fine. You know, because a lot of people don't feel comfortable and a lot of people don't really want other people to know what they're going through. And I, you know, I, I uh, make sure I don't go out telling people, you know, what, but, but, oh, but uh, about what they're going through. But if it's going to be able to help others to know what they're, you know, to know that, you know, somebody else might be going through it, I might, you know, bring up, um, like, oh, okay, this brought a content up to my head, not, oh, well, this situation. But if it brings the content up to me, I'll go ahead and, you know, put it into a video because there are so many people that are going through this it's like they're going through their awakening you know they're losing friends left and right they're losing their jobs you know their family is pulling away from them you know friends might be pulling away from you distance distance uh distancing themselves from you and let me pause this for the cause y'all because my um my computer's about to die so hold on just a second yeah, I'm back, y'all. Sorry about that. But, yeah, we all have to go through this process. And it's just like you're trying to wonder why you're going through these things. is because you need to be able to focus on things on your own. You have to be able to save your own self. Nobody will be coming to save you. This is some things that you are going to have to work on your own. You're going to have to search from within the things that you need to heal from, the things that are holding you back, the things that make you put walls up. To where it makes you not trust certain people or you know you don't want to date anymore because all men are bad or you don't want to date anymore because all women are bad you know if there's something that really got you to that point to where it frees you off from certain things that you 
used to enjoy to do. You know, if it's something in a negative way, I can understand you want to stop. But if it's telling you, if you went through something traumatic, which, you know, a lot of times that usually happens in that case, where people put walls up and they don't let anybody close to them. And, you know, I find myself doing that. You know, it's just like sometimes people can invite me somewhere and I will come up with an excuse real quick. And there's actually sometimes I really have something to do. But if there's times that if I have a gut feeling, I know that person's not right for me. And I'm just like, you know what, I just can't do it. Or if it's just something I know I'm still working with, I know I'm going to have to step, step out that comfort zone. And you're going to have to do the same thing, too. If you want to be able to heal, if you want to be able to move on to that next chapter, you know, know that your life is going to have to fall apart. Know it's going to make you feel like you're you're about to lose your mind, but you're not losing your mind. It's just like things are all shifting just to reprogram you all over again. That's what it is, because you have been set on limited beliefs for so long about certain things, certain people, the way life is. And then when you finally hit let shit hit the fan and you are going through something you gonna look at stuff like hold up <laughs> this one like this. this these people weren't acting like this this has happened this has been happening around you this whole time but it took you to have to go through this for you to be able to see the truth so work on you know that your life is going to have to completely fall apart for it to all be placed together the way it's supposed to it's going to break down walls. It's going to show you things that you were afraid to see. Things that you weren't wanting to face is now coming to your face. Yes, people might distance themselves, but probably that's most likely they weren't supposed to be in your life in the first place. So don't go chasing down people that were supposed to get out of your life. If they show you who you are, you better believe them. But that gives you that time to work on yourself to know that when your life is falling apart, it's coming back together with a better foundation. For you to have a better life for you to have a better understanding so i hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can and know that you are blessed highly favored and truly loved and know there's always somebody out there praying for your better days and i will talk to you on my next video and get my post notification out to miss lisa green and you know much love to you i'm gonna try to go ahead and give shout outs as much as i can because sometimes i forget to write them down and i'm just going off of names that's coming off to the top of my head to just give shout outs and the more i do this i'm gonna get more comfortable with it and not actually get more comfortable with it but actually remember so um send out as much love and light positivity as you possibly can much love to y'all. Send infinite abundance, uplifting abundance, and loving vibes your way and healing vibes if you truly need it. Uh, know that you are blessed, highly favored. I already said that. So, <laughs> like and subscribe. That's why I'm going to say like and subscribe. You can hit that notification bell. Drop me a line. I'd love a chance to hit, get to know you. Even give me a thumbs up, like, and even show on your social media favorites. And I will see you on my next video. Much love to y'all. Peace and be wild.